everybody, and welcome again to Faith on Friday Extra. This series is all about highlighting people, jobs, and topics that I hope that you will find interesting, entertaining, motivating, but always encouraging. And I'm your host, Ricky Smith. Today, I am super excited to introduce you to my friend, Tamara White. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Ricky. How are you? I am so good. I'm super excited that you're here. You all I have to tell you, Tamara is a phenomenal young lady with lots of things going on, but we are going to talk about today her new book, her new book, which is called I Am Fearless. Congratulations, Tamara, on the book. That's fantastic. Thank you, Ricky. It's a pleasure being here. Thank you for having me. Of course. Oh, my gosh. So let's get into this. Talk to me, what was the inspiration behind you writing this book right now? That's a really good question, Ricky. So um, I actually started writing the book right after I graduated from college. So okay. I landed I, what I thought was my dream job. I, I got my job before two weeks before I graduated from college. So I was like, man, things are going great. I have a job lined up for me. Everything's going in order, right? Mm -hmm. we, we tend to have our plan and then God has a plan for us. So right. I was thinking everything's going perfectly fine. And then I started my job and I was like, this is not for me at all. <laughs> <laughs> I was working in the art in the hospital. Some people might know or might not know. I, I majored in biology. I had dreams to go to med school. And so I was thinking everything's going on track and it wasn't for me. So I did work there for a little bit and then I decided I was going to leave. So I started looking for jobs and I was jumping from one place to another because it was hard you know, finding a good paying job at least here where I'm at and so I through that time was like I'm just going to jot things down that pass or go through my mind I'm a person I like to write write about anything so if I'm going through good times or I'm going through something bad I just tend to write that's how I get my feelings out and um, through the, doing that I encouraged myself Oh, that's awesome. I've actually read the book, of course, because it is really an encouraging work of art. I mean, really work of art. And I appreciate it. I, I think that's so fantastic. So when you were writing this tomorrow, who did you have in mind that you would think would read it? Or did you even really think it was going to be a book and it was just something you were doing for you? Good, good question. Well, first I started writing it for myself. And like I said before, it was more of encouragement for myself. Mm -hmm. But um, while I was at work one day, um, someone came up to me and told me, like, you're such a positive person. And as I was writing this, God already had told me what you're going through and what you're writing. Yes, you wrote it, you know, to encourage yourself. But there's somebody mm -hmm. else out there who needs those words of encouragement. Somebody else might be going through the same thing. And mm -hmm. so they told me you should write a book. And I thought that was crazy because God already had told me you need to write a book. So that was <laughs> confirmation as well. And so. Um, I kept pushing it back and I was like, no, not right now. No, I'm not ready. And I thought to myself, you're never going to be ready. I feel like you're always going to have something that you want to change. So I decided I'm going to put it out there. And you did. And it is absolutely wonderful. So as you were writing it and then the book came out and then people started buying the book. Mm -hmm. Did you have any fear behind that? Because the book is called I Am Fearless. What kind of fear did you have when you saw that you now have a book, you're now a published author, and then people started buying it? What were you, what was your thinking? So that is definitely funny. That's a funny question to ask. Um, I did have some fears. So some of my fears was, well, um, what if the formatting is not right? Or what if I have a mistake? I mean, I'm, a, I self-published. I did it myself. I, mm -hmm. I made the cover myself and Beautiful. it's a very hard thing to do. If you can definitely get someone to help you, I would recommend that. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, I, I told myself it's the content inside that matters. So even if it doesn't look exactly how I want it to be, um, if somebody is touched, you know, ultimately by the words that are in the book that God gave me to, to minister to someone, then mm -hmm. it's going to be okay. And so more people started buying the book and um, I definitely got an overwhelming amount of people ordering the book because I didn't think that many people would possibly order it. Right. I was just thinking that even one person orders it and, and they feel like it helped them and it can help them become a better person mm -hmm. or it can help them just get through a rough patch that they're going through. I'm right. definitely okay with it. And mm -hmm. yes, it's been, it's been a really nice journey. 
It is. It's been amazing. I know when I got your book, I was so excited. And I think I called you or texted you or something. I was like, I got my book. Because <laughs> it's exciting. It is so exciting. But it's so funny that you said, you know, writing is the way that you get your things out. See, y'all don't know this, but I do. Tomorrow's also a dancer. And I don't mean like, uh, 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 no, the woman is a dancer and she is beautiful at it. So how much of your dancing, your creativity went into being able to write this down and get a book out? Huh, I never really thought about that. Um, well, I'm a person, even same with my writing, if I'm feeling something, mm -hmm. deep, honestly, I, I've quoted a um a way of i'm asleep and god wakes me up and i i start dancing some people might think it's odd but i definitely yeah kind of if you have <laughs> yeah, just, just a little i get up and <laughs> eat but okay whatever <laughs> <laughs> if you have a gift um and and god tells you to do something but i'm definitely a believer because i've, I've done the opposite god tell, has told me to do things and i'm like mm -hmm. no like maybe you're not talking to me or i'm not supposed to do that but just being obedient and just listening to him. And um, with that, so even with my dancing, I have even have gotten, you know, done and I didn't even know that I was even capable, which I don't think it's me, it's definitely God, but I was capable of doing the things that I, I was able to do or get into the events that I am. So tying it to my book, um, just putting it out there and whether it's up to your expectations or not, just knowing that if it's in your heart to do something, do it because right. you never know what's gonna happen. So that's true it. just do it so like the book says i am fearless that's the back super cute picture by the way but the book is called <laughs> i am fearless tomorrow where can people get your book so you can get my book as of right now on amazon if you log into amazon there's two ways that you can order the book you can get it through ebook through kindle mm -hmm. and then as well if you are an amazon prime member you can get the book for free so mm -hmm. with that, um, it definitely would just be an honor for you to order the book because if you're able to read it, then I appreciate your feedback um, as well. If you want to order a paperback, school, then you can always go through the paperback. Fantastic. And we are going to put all of that information down in the description. So when you want to get in touch with her, you will be able to. But now, tomorrow, is our time for our game. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> this game is called this or that it's pretty simple i'm going to give you one of two things and you just pick the one that you like the best are you ready yes i'm ready okay here we go <laughs> mcdonald's or burger king mm, burger king all the way i grew up in burger king wow your mom would be so proud not really <laughs> no <or> not really. <laughs> marvel <laughs> Marvel, definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah, you're already 0 for 2 with me. Going to the movies or movies at home? Um, I'm at a home body, so movies at home. Okay. Make the call or send the text? Hmm. I would say make the call. I like to be personal. Okay, I like it. Snickers or Three Musketeers? Oh, Snickers all the way. I hate three <laughs> Okay, that's one. You got one so far. Dress up or dress down? Uh, dress up. Or dress down, actually. My bad. Dress down. You always see me dressing down. You probably that, see me Yeah, that's true. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanksgiving or New Year's Eve? Um, Thanksgiving. Yeah, me too. Fry it or grill it? Grill it. As much as fry it is so good. Mm-hmm. Really? Frying it is life. Morning person <laughs> or night owl? Morning person. Oh, God bless you. You uh, are <laughs> while you're out here, if you love tomorrow the way that we do, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. We want to hear from you, especially Tamara does on her new book. So, Tamara, what would you like to tell everybody before we go? So what I would like to tell everybody, especially through this pandemic that we're going through, is just that we're going to be okay. Um, yes, it's scary. Yes, it's uncomfortable. Yes, for most people, it's probably the first pandemic that they've ever gone through. But um, just be there for your neighbors, be there for your friends and your family the best way you can. Just because we're social distancing doesn't mean that you can't like do what we're doing right now. You can't do a Zoom yeah. chat or you can't FaceTime each other. 
um, if you know someone who might be elderly or someone who's disabled, who can't go out to the stores themselves, um, give them a call or, you know, try to get in contact with them and ask them, is there anything that they need? And, or even if you can't necessarily go out to the store yourself, because I understand we're all busy and we all have our own things going on, or we just might not have, you know, the finances, um, let them know when there's, um, the hours are open or that Walmart or the store has something available so they can mm -hmm. at least make that run themselves. Um, and that we're going to make it through. Now, I don't know when it's all going to be over, but we are going to be okay. Yes, we are. And don't forget, pick up our book. The book is called I Am Fearless. And we appreciate you guys watching tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it as well. And we will see you all next time on extra. And that's it.